Welcome, Pisces. This is your weekly focus for the week of July the 15th. I'm Tilly. This is Tarot with Tilly. Thank you for being here and thank you for all the support. So let's go to the cards. And see what they have to reveal for us, Pisces, for the following week ahead. Our underlying energy is. Look at that. We have the set, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles has been in almost everybody's reading so far. And I really get this as understanding the people that are needed in our life, the people that bring in some kind of support to us. Um, you know, I, I think you're going to figure out who is um, I, I, like a leveling playing field. So they don't just show up when they need something from you, but they're there to help you and support you at all times too. And those are, you know, when you have friends, you're the richest person in the land, they say, right? So it's about understanding the value of certain relationships. This could even be a relationship where you come together to create something new, something wonderful, something that um, is a creation of joy or happiness in some way. I don't know how that works out. Not obviously for all of us, but for some. Um, there could also be a reward coming in here, some kind of promotion, or maybe just a raise in pay or a little bit of extra money coming in. Maybe somebody shows up that's owed you money from a long time ago. You thought you'd never see it, and, and there it is. We have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is our first card. I love him because he doesn't stand on ceremony and neither will you. So this could be that we make some very impulsive decisions this week. I, I would just think it through if it's something about home and family to not just be too much in a rush to tear down that wall because it might be a retaining wall or something. It's just about thinking things through, um, asking a couple of questions before you go forward. I think the spontaneous energy as a whole is good but i do think when it comes to your home when it comes to your family you might want to give it just a little bit of thought okay and not just dive into those impulsive decisions i think your energy could also be a little scattered he never shows up in his um his royal garb so to speak he rarely has his crown on and um it's usually crooked or he doesn't have the the large crown on he kind of wears the day-to-day crown because he can't be bothered with that big thing on his head and trying to balance it all day he's ready for work okay he's more of um he, you know he's ready for the battles he's ready for uh going through those obstacles meeting those obstacles pushing through any kind of energy that's trying to stop him from going forward in the way he wants he also doesn't need that plan all carved out in rock in order to go forward what he's going to do is he's going to think on his feet and as he goes forward he's going to throw ideas to the wall and what stick sticks that's what we're going to use and the rest of it we'll put in the file for maybe we'll revisit someday maybe not we have the three of cups so it is about creating joy happiness laughter giggles uh, this could also be good news coming in for you. So we have good news twice for you. So expect something wonderful to definitely come into your life here. Um, and it could be prosperity because of the pentacles, but it also could be just joy and happiness and growing those bonds deeper. Okay. Or stronger in our lives just by enjoying the moment with them. Uh, we also have the two of cups, which is new beginnings, new passions, new dreams. This is somebody that could come new into your life. Now it could be a new lover. It could be a new best friend. It could be a new boss. It could be a new coworker, new next door neighbor. So we're not really sure there. It could also be passions, dreams, desires that we want to take forward, you know, making that, you know, monetizing our hobbies, so to speak. So overriding this energy is the nine of wands. So this is a, this is a path. This is a, a path of destiny. This is a path that you've been preparing for all your life in some ways. Okay, you've walked many different roads in order to get to the here and now, and you have been successful in those roads. Okay, the wands in the backdrop are the walks that you have mastered. And there's tall and there's straight, and they all have foliage. And now you're looking at this one in your hand, and it's knobby and it's twisted and it's short and it's stubby, and there's no growth on it. All those wands started that way. 
Now you're wearing red, so it's about courage. It's about passion. Do you have the courage? Do you have the passion to take on this path? And it's about brand new beginnings, brand new starts. So this could have been an aha moment, an epiphany, a, an idea flashed before you. Maybe somebody suggested it to you. Hey, what about us partnering up together and doing something wonderful together? Maybe it was through a brainstorming thing, but it was more fun than brainstorming. But the end result was a new path forward, either in a relationship or it could be in work and career. We'll see where that lands. Supporting all this energy is your strength, is your courage, is your ability to know that you can be successful that you do have the potential that you are worthy that you are deserving this is a time that your word you know it's your bond if you say it's going to happen then it has to happen people are watching okay so as much as we're having fun here we also have to adhere to our responsibilities and our obligations Okay, and we may be looking at those things and wondering do I really need that obligation or responsibility in my life why am I the, 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 the key master for this door? Somebody else can do it. And I can free up my time to put it towards something that I want to do. Something that I enjoy. Something that allows me, my, my inner expression to come out. My creativity to come out. Okay? And allow things that bring in joy into my life. A little bit more of a window of opportunity for that to happen on a consistent basis in my world. As we start to walk into the week, beginning of the week is the death card. Okay, so the death card at the beginning of the week is about, you know, you're thinking about different walls. Maybe you're going through a healing stage. That could be that you are healing in some way, or you are opening up to new experiences. You're allowing your inner child to come out and play. Um, you're allowing yourself to feel the, 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 the liberation, the, the sense of freedom in your life. It's about taking a deep breath. It's about enjoying the moment. It's about letting that cloak fall away. It's about letting that weapon drop and to start to embrace the positive experiences that are happening in your life. As we leave the week, we have the star card. Wow. You go into this incredible vibe here, okay, where you start to just open up and release and have a little bit of fun. And that fun, that energy that it builds allows you to make the impossible possible in your life something that you thought you couldn't do and maybe you partner up with somebody new you meet somebody that opens up the door to that possibility okay maybe it's just your energy of having a good time or maybe it's being that strong person that people know they can trust and rely on in a moment of crisis when we look at work and career we have the six of swords yeah a brand new path is opening up for you absolutely you're going into uncharted territories i don't think you're going to wait for the official announcement of you doing it i think you're already going to start doing some of the things that you need to do in order to uh, wear that hat so to speak okay now you've already had the lessons in life in order to prepare you for these moments. So it's not that you can't handle them. Okay. So any kind of obstacle, it doesn't matter. Work through that obstacle. See it as the opportunity. It truly is for you. Okay. Uncharted territory. So new things to learn, new people bring this opportunity in. look at they're in the boat with you now. So they're going forward with you. They could be just your cheerleader or they're there to help and assist you move forward they could be a mentor in some way so it's about raising your energy and that opportunity can appear and you see how you can step into it prior to actually getting a title maybe you are just you know you're starting your first youtube video today or something okay so you're letting the walls down you're putting yourself out there you're gonna throw some ideas out there do a couple of videos see what happens you're gonna have fun and enjoyment doing it and through it maybe you get a comment where you actually meet that person at some level and they open you up to making the impossible possible who knows what's going to happen but that's just one scenario of a million and one that can happen in your life so stay open to the opportunities when it comes to love and relationship but look at this we have the sun card the i am the strength okay this is where you shine when it comes to your love life when it comes to loving the people in your life there is no problems here okay if anything you're going to take them on an adventure with you if anything you're going to see really who has the balance within the relationship, who gives, who supports, who loves you, who you can rely on, who you can trust. 
you know, you're going to see all these things is going to be easy peasy. You could be leaving maybe certain groups only to enter new groups or committees or clubs or um, neighborhoods. Those kind of things can definitely happen. New groups of people can emerge in your life. So it's not just about, you know, if you are meeting somebody, they will bring in some kind of balance, some kind of balance into your life. They they give you some kind of structure, but they also are a very spontaneous person and they are going to um, embrace joy as well in so many ways. So they could turn out to be a very good friend in your life. Could be somebody who walks the rest of your path with. Absolutely. And this is about forward motion. I don't see where we have to work or anything on these relationships. I think we just have to be a little bit more spontaneous, if anything else, within the relationship. And invite in happiness and joy. Also, you could meet people through um, getting out there in um, in crowds. Or maybe you change a behavior or habit, something in your routine that allows you to meet somebody. That could very be, that could very well be you're taking a new way to work and, and your eyes meet across the smoky room and the rest is history kind of stuff. One more card is the Four of Wands. Everybody's gotten the Four of Wands. My gosh, we have an entire planet getting married next week. Um <laughs> Okay, so a, a general generalization. Yes, there could be marriage proposals here. There could be growing of the bonds. But what I'm seeing with this card more than anything else, and I'm not even sure of what the energy is in the sky for this week, but everybody's got this, you know, and I'll, I'll do the fireworks. I'm getting tired of the fireworks uh, story already. Um, it's like going to the fireworks, okay? We hear that boom in the sky and we know the fireworks are going to start and we all get excited and the anticipation and then the firework goes off and we ooh and we ah and we clap and we applaud and you know we're, we're making little comments love those colors and look at that one it just goes 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 that's my favorite was that a heart oh my goodness this is fantastic and then the grand finale comes and we cheer and encore and you know so this is you know moment to moment in our relationships in our world okay to celebrate the little moments we don't sit there at the fireworks and go oh the first one went off okay that was good yeah okay good good keep moving keep moving yep that was great yep keep moving move 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 okay that worked out well yep yeah okay and then the final finale comes in and then you cheer and applaud and you know so we have to treat our lives a little bit more like watching fireworks we have to celebrate all the all the little events that happen in our life not just the grand finale but those little sparks of creation of creativity those little sparks of laughter and happiness we need to celebrate each other we need to celebrate our worlds so much more and that card is telling us all to embrace life and all it has to offer until we meet again remember I do love you. Thank you.